Okay, this is an Eco 60 that was uh, made to be an outdoor, more to work like an outdoor wood boiler. I used it first season outside, then I built it in my barn. Um, There's the face of the 60, no cover on the fans. I'm going to go inside and show one modification. I have an adjustment for uh, primary air. There's a rod that goes into the uh, primary air flapper and you're able to close it, move it to whatever distance you choose half inch is fairly normal for me and over here is uh, one for the other side just gotta balance them out I'm gonna open up the inside to show how it's connected okay to take out off the front there's a about a dozen screws that you need to take out. On it here. There you go. This thing. You ready? Yeah. All right. This uh, got all the screws out. This thing pulls out, and I'm just gonna set it in right here. And. I pushed it. Yeah. Okay. This slider, um, L-shaped piece, fastened right there. The, the nut is fairly loose. Okay, these are the slots on an Eco 60. Uh, some of the others may be different. But the, uh, it's basically an L-shaped piece welded onto the existing uh, flapper and it looks like it's about two and three eighths to the outside of the rod. Rod goes through. This rod happens to be Oh, about seven inches long. There's a couple set rings here. And you're able to uh, pull it in and out to wherever you want it adjusted. And both sides are independently set. And normally I would keep them balanced. The hole at the side is uh, drilled in. The center of the hole is about an inch and an eighth from the uh, face of the door uh, frame. And uh, it's right behind the gasket. And basically it's centered with the uh, nut, slider nut. So that's the location where the hole is drilled, and the hole is uh, just a smidge bigger than the rod. I think the rod's a quarter inch, and uh, it needs to be a nice tight fit. All right, this little mod is a remnant of one of my tubes worked out, didn't have a welder right then, and I just put a little angle piece on, put a screw in, kept her from wiggling back out again. Another little mod I did, I, I bolted a little piece of like three quarter inch angle iron across corners on the, on the plate that covers the primary and secondary air holes. It just was kind of floppy for me and I liked how it stiffened up the, uh, the cover. Alright, got the cover back on and uh, Gonna snap the uh, fan covers on. There it is, just about back to normal. Okay, here's a shot how it's built into the uh, four bay of the barn.
pull the lever down and start to shoot out wood gasification. I have a little $30 gadget here, Dwyer Mart 2. It uh, tests for uh, how much draft you got in your chimney. Uh, one port's open, and the other port is hooked up to uh, a place to drill a hole in, in my uh, chimney. Connects right in here, which ties into my chimney. All right, it's running right now, and if you use the wood you should use, it shouldn't have a whole lot of anything coming out the stack. 